Hey, I'm Joe, and I'm going to share with you a foolproof two-point process that you can follow to help you decide what programming language you should be using for your automation efforts in the new year. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and smash that bell to get updated every time I release a new video. So the very first thing I do is I go to the toby.com index for programming languages, and they update this all the time. So currently they have the updated version for January 2020. And as you can see, it lists out the most popular programming languages from one to 11. And then they have other programming languages listed below. So that's the first step is I go to the toby.com index and I figure out what is the top programming languages or the most popular programming languages as of today. So as you can see, no really surprises here. For the first one, Java, of course, Java, you would think would be the most popular. And indeed, it was the most popular in 2019 and is also the most popular as of 2020. Uh, the second one is a little more um, surprising to me. This is cool if you're a developer, maybe C is something you look for, but I'm not sure if that's something I would learn for automation, test automation. And three through 10, you can see Python. Python, I'm really excited as to see as number three, because this is the one I've identified as the programming language I want to learn more about in the new year. But just seeing what the most popular languages are, are not enough. You need to do the second step, and the second step is the most critical. And that is to go to a job board like simplyhired.com or a d.com or dice, whatever your favorite job board is, and you want to type in these keywords to see not only is it popular, but is it popular in the area where you would be looking for employment if for some reason you wanted to change jobs. This is critical because I do this every year to make sure I have the most employable skills available to me so that if I did get laid off or I did want to look for a new job, that I have skills that I've worked on that I know are popular, not only in general, but more specifically in the area where I'm looking for a job. So I'll go to, for example, indeed.com, and I'll look for the area that's closest to me, which is Knoxville, Tennessee. This is going to be different depending on where you live and what country you live in. So these results will be different based on your specific location. So I'll look for Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'll just go through the top 10 popular programming languages that we saw in the toby.com index. So the first one, as we mentioned, is Java. So I'll look up Java and automation. Okay, that returns 19 jobs. I'll look up the C automation. Who knows, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it is popular. And it only returns three jobs. Now, once again, this is specific to my location. It may be different based on where you're located. That's critical. Then I'll look up C sharp. Brings back seven. Let's look up Python. Okay, interesting. Python returns the most jobs in my location with 23. Uh, let's look up a few more. I like JavaScript is usually really popular. That only returns four jobs. So out of the ones I looked for, the one that is most popular in my area is Python. So even though the index is saying Java is the most popular programming language, in my particular area, when I'm looking for a job for test automation, it looks like Python is more popular, although it's pretty close. So for me, what I would do is I would focus in on Python as the language I would use for my automation efforts in 2020 that I would, I would learn. And like I said, it would it's totally different based on where you live and where, you, where you're located. So that's really critical. So that's my quick and easy two-part method to find out what programming language you should be using in 2020 for your test automation efforts. Hope it helps. Leave a comment below. And as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.